Aspects of sound. Sound is produced by vibrations. These vibrations create sound waves which travel to the ear. The frequency or pitch is the number of vibrations per second and refers to the tone of the sound. A low frequency produces a deep sound. Whereas a high frequency produces a sharp sound. Frequency is expressed in hertz. The intensity or volume of the sound depends on the amplitude of the vibration. The higher the amplitude, the louder the sound. The lower the amplitude, the quieter the sound. Amplitude is expressed in decibels. Airborne noise is caused by vibrations that travel through the air. In closed spaces, these vibrations usually come in contact with an obstacle, such as a wall, ceiling, or floor before totally dissipating. When this happens, some of the vibration energy is absorbed by the wall and some is reflected. Airborne noise travels through ventilation ducts and other openings in a building. Wherever air can get through, so can airborne noise. Impact noise travels through solid materials and is caused by an impact. It becomes airborne and reverberation noises when it is transferred to the surrounding air. Soundproofing Let's take a look at some key soundproofing concepts. Dense or heavy materials do not make good vibration conductors. Sound can't go through them but is reflected. In a building, Concrete floors and walls are good examples of low vibrating materials. Sound absorption refers to a material's ability to absorb sound waves rather than reflect them. The more fibrous the material, the better it absorbs sound. Decoupling is when two sides of a wall are mechanically separated to make it harder for sound to pass through. Basically, decoupling makes it so that there is not a direct path for sound to travel from one room to the next. Maximize soundproofing. No soundproofing method is perfectly effective on its own. That's because different concepts work for different ranges of frequency or types of noise. So what's the secret to optimal soundproofing? Number one, choose the right combination of soundproofing techniques for your building. Depending on whether it is made of wood, concrete, or steel. Number two, for the best results, decide on your soundproofing method before you start to build. It's easier to soundproof an open structure than to make corrections to an existing building. Number three. Remember that even the smallest opening can compromise your soundproofing. If air can pass through the structure, so can airborne noise.